everyone, this is Andrew Parr and in this quick video I'm going to show you how to fix Sony Vegas, uh, well I'm running version 13 but previous versions also apply, when you go to import an MP4 video into your work area and it comes up with this big green preview. Now you can test the video, the MP4, outside of Vegas and it will run and, and display perfectly but in Vegas it comes up with this what I call imitation green screen. Not so cool because um, you can't actually see what's going on. Now the first thing you need to do to fix this is you have to find out what plugin is um, rendering this, this video portion here because if you press play it, it, the sound is working fine so we know it's a video issue so the first thing to do is we right click on the video and you need to go to properties. Now if you find that your properties is blacked out or greyed out so to speak you'll need to right click go down to group and then remove from. And that's sometimes when the audio and the video are linked, it won't allow the properties button to be um, selected. So by ungrouping, you can there um, access that properties on the video. So you click properties, you go to the general tab, and you scroll down the bottom, and it's going to tell you what plugin it's using to render that MP4. So in this case, it's compoundplug.dll, and it's Sony's version of that. Now I'm not quite sure what causes that, but it tells you the actual file location for where that um, that plugin is. So then what you do is you can cancel this video, um, cancel the the, uh, the window so to speak, and you need to navigate on your computer to where that particular file location is. So in this case, it's you know program files, Sony Vegas Pro, uh, and depending on what version, obviously that's going to reflect there. But it's the file I/O plugins, and it's the compound plug folder. So what I found the way of fixing this is if you rename that folder it has to kind of refresh itself when you go to uh, to import that video again. So I'm just going to hit OK and it's now re renamed that folder. So now what's going to happen is uh, I have to close off Vegas and then once you um, reopen Vegas you'll find it will open up. So the first thing you do is close off Vegas. Now I don't want to save the changes and then you need to open up Vegas again. Give it a couple of seconds and this is where it's actually processing those plugins on boot up which is why you have to close it off and we're presented with our blank slate media that we had before and at this point I'm just going to go through select that video and uh, that video that was coming up green and drag it straight in and only this time when I let go you'll see that there's no longer the green. Now it shows green up here, but we really don't care about the previews at stage at this point. It's this part down here, and if I press play, the video will work fine. So that's the quick version of how to fix the Sony Vegas green screen bug. It's not really a green screen bug, and it's not chroma keying, it's got nothing to do with that. It's just the way it renders the, um, the preview in Vegas. So I hope this video has helped. If it has, click the like button. If these videos are helpful to you, click the subscribe button, and I'd love to hear your feedback about whether what you do with Vegas, how you use Vegas. Let me know. All right, thanks a lot, and have a great day.